morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. We are in absolutely beautiful Utah. What an amazing place we have. This is a way I can start every morning and I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. After we get done with our hiking, we're gonna actually head over to Jeremy Stone's, one of the coolest boa and ball python collections on the planet. It's gonna be an amazing day, but for now, we're gonna enjoy this beautiful scenery. We just took a quick stop up here at Sundance and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Jeremy, of course, brought us up. Jackson over here. So uh, they're our host for the day. We're gonna head back over to his place in a minute, look at some amazing snakes. It's gonna be a great day, but uh, first, just enjoying this beauty, right, Jay? It's awesome. <laughs> and of course, I'm here with my buddy Jeremy. We've known each other for a couple decades. I'd say something so. Something like that. And Jeremy has some incredible boas as well as a lot of ball pythons. Uh, family affair here, so we're gonna meet the kids uh, and just have an incredible time. Let's start with this. I mean, this is a cool little display tank. What do we have going on in here? This is actually a leucistic. Cassie, my daughter over here, she's earned this because she works for me. And that was her favorite snake. And she's named it what, Cassie? Rosie. 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 So we've got a few others in here. And this one's intelligent following me around. Wow. This is a beautiful T positive. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely Isn't that a incredible. beautiful striped boa here? That's really then we got this IMG gene going on there. Just gorgeous. Just follow me yeah, around. Let's, a yeah, look at that IMG. I want to go in here and pick this thing up. Might snap thing. You. Oh, that's okay. We got it. Look at this animal right here. So this is actually an IMG hypo. Is that what this is? This or? is actually an IMG hypo fire diamond. Fire. It's also carrying oh, the leucistic gene behind it. Right, exactly. Cool. So the fire is the stuff that when you bred together, you can produce the princess diamond, which is the white snake, which is these guys. And Jeremy, you're going to show us some kind of variety of I these, will. right? Yeah, and so. they're my favorites. So oh my God, they are so incredible. I mean, you can see this one here, pure white. The other one's got the beautiful freckles on it and stuff like that, beautiful colors. Uh, incredible. Uh, again, Jeremy kind of pioneered a lot of really pretty amazing boas over the years so uh, you guys I know you're always opining for boas and stuff like that so uh, you're gonna get your boa fill today and we'll see some really cool ball pythons as well look at that one right there Jeremy wow. it's just my passion to make lots of different varieties oh and so gosh. it's just so much fun when you see your hard work coming through Oh and look gosh. at stuff like that. Oh yeah. There's even animals that we have made through these that you can see the names in them. We have one called Gary. It's famous for Oh, Jackson. you're kidding me. Yeah, no, we awesome. bring up Gary. It's kind of like my smiley you pies, right? Name. Yeah, we have the smiley pies. Exactly. exactly. That's bring awesome. up the smiley pie. Let me just show you this really quick. Oh yeah, let's go see. Let's go. Look at the cactus tree. Oh my gosh, it's a saguaro. So it's a saguaro cat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a awesome. So we named this Tucson after Jackson because he lives in Arizona. Oh my gosh, I love it. That is. And that's that also is smiley awesome. face, but that's look the Tucson. It's incredible. And then we live in the this. state of Utah, of course, that's so we're awesome. going to show you the Ute. So that's the Ute. Oh my gosh, it's got a heat. That's think? awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love how pines are like that, where they can have all kinds of different emojis and everything else in there. That's awesome. So, as you notice, Brian, over the times, you can get bored of having thousands of snakes. So, my daughter, my son, and a couple of friends have helped me. We start to name them. And yeah, if we name them. I see all yeah. the names on here. <laughs> have you ever watched that 80s video, uh, 88 Lions About 44 Women? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 88 Lions About 44 Women, whatever. That's Dinah right. drove her Chevrolet into the San Francisco. <laughs> but awesome. that's Daryl so Hannah, this is, this she's is just so fabulous. Daryl Hannah, look at that. So that's a good that name. Cool. So what exactly is the mutation here? You're going to flip. This is a double dominant hypo gene, but it's also carrying the blood gene. Oh. And it's het sharp albino. Wow. Now I'll show you what they produce. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're gonna like the dragon. In fact, what? that's a world's first. Wow. Yeah, that so is yeah, absolutely how are you gonna film that? You can't people aren't even gonna right. be able to see that thing. So that's got the blood boa gene. Wow. It's also a jungle and a sharp albino. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? That thing is insane, dude. Took long hard work to make that many years. Oh seriously. my god, that's incredible. So double simple recessive couple codons in there. Now, he looks I, like he's happy. Well, I was gonna have Brian tame down Jason, but this is Gary Jr. And uh, Gary's kind of famous in the Stone family. Jackson does a lot of videos. Everybody wants to come and hold Gary because he's so tame. But Gary Jr is not tame. He's, just, he's <laughs> acting like he's upset with me. He's just hissed and it's he's all bark, no bite. He's just being a bite. silly monkey. But, it's okay, little monkey. Well, it's all right, look at how Now, I, I like that Brian did that. So yeah, there's see, very few people called... that would do that. He'll tame right down, actually. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's like, it's all hiss and it's all bark, but you can see it's absolutely never even taken a pop at me. It's really a beautiful, beautiful snake. I mean, what an incredible, and this one has a bunch of the freckles it on it, It does, actually, too. yeah. And I he looks love like that. his dad, his dad has his name Gary written in there. Oh my gosh, that thing is gorgeous, dude. 
I love it. It's just a little defensive thing. It's not like an aggressive animal or anything like that. It's just defensive. And that's something that'll probably grow out of for sure. It Absolutely does. incredible. And again, never once did it actually strike at me. That's one of the things about boas. Oftentimes they'll just kind of huff and puff and, and say, stay away, stay away. But they're never really strikers. And now look at how he's now starting watch. to when look he gets around. To I'll tame him down, but I don't think Brian's going to be able to tame Jason now. Jason is the now, tough Jason, one. Now Jason, when he gets older, and he this will is come Jason down. From now, he will pop at you. This I, is we Jason. Named him Jason from, after Halloween because he's a little e he's a little evil. So this is a uh, Jason Voorhees, right? Let's see Brian tame that one down. Oh yeah, no, we got him. Happen. By that time, that's yeah, okay, yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's it's okay, buddy. But later, ah. he will. I, I told you, to oh. up. Brian. Oh. Come on now. <laughs> you don't want anybody bit. You don't have to put your hand in the rose bush. You don't need to. <laughs> okay. Jason's all right. He's just a little bit feisty. Uh, listen, I love snakes like Jason. Look at that animal right there. Woo! Jeez, what the heck? That's absolutely incredible. What a cool snake, though. Again, I tell you what, number one, I don't mind the fact that it's a little bit feisty right now. When it gets bigger, it might be a little bit of a challenge, but as a baby, it's no big deal. Those bites hardly even, you can hardly even feel them. But what a gorgeous snake. I tell Very you what, unbelievable. He'll around you, so he follows me. <laughs> I can see that. He's, he's like, come oh. this way. Yeah, he's all over the place. What a great animal. Look, I tell you, ooh, that's okay. Right down. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's all right. Jason, it's all right, buddy boy. Still, again, I would take this any day. I mean, to hold a white boa. I tell you, like, you know, again, these white boas, these princess diamonds are things that we dreamt about when we were younger. So to have an opportunity to hold an animal like this, even if it is a little bit feisty, I tell you what, I don't mind at all. What a cool snake. What's up, buddy? You okay? Ah, he's just a little misunderstood. This is a beautiful snake. Love him to death. Boas are just right awesome down. animals. Again, just as a youngsters, they get a little bit fired up like that, but they always come. I guarantee Jason and Gary Jr. are gonna be absolutely placid by the time they're adults. I forgot about these. Ah, they're hopeful the casting's not in shed. Woo! Now, what do you think of that puppy? Oh my gosh, so this has to be the blood gene. That's actually the hypo leopard. This is a hypo leopard? Yeah, hypo leopard. So there's no blood in this? There's no, well, it's het blood. It's het blood, oh my het gosh. Blood. And I'm gonna show you dad soon. Wow, I mean, just take a look at that boa right there. That has got so much orange and red in it. My goodness, that thing is crazy cool, man. I love it, dude. So the reason it's a hypo leopard is the hypo gene takes out the black. This is your leopard that you're looking for. That, that now look at the oh, belly and that. So the hypogene took the other one away from that. And exactly. That. So yeah, you got the bellies are amazing. And again, that leopard gene is so cool with the patterns. Extremely variable. I mean, yeah. you know, leopards are unbelievably variable. That is a beautiful leopard. The thing I love about leopards too is those jet black eyes. I know. They just are so cool, man. Wow. They are beautiful bows. Jeremy, that's awesome. I know, dude. and I, I, f I found that some of the centrals and more Mexican bows are easier to breed than the true Colombians. Right, they really that's are. what I heard, yeah. A little bit hardier. So this is a motley bow, a co-dominant gene. This is the animal that I started that really started me out when I was a kid. I spent a lot of money on this. And so everybody's got a motley all over the world, so that's one of the most popular genes of bows. Yeah, and sometimes when you're kind of growing a collection, you need that kind of, that, that jumping off, right? We had albino Hondurans, uh, hog nose snakes, uh, and then ultimately pinstripes and a few other things to really blow up BHB. So Motley Boas were your kind of ticket. I was MotleyBoa.com before I bought BoaConstrictor.com yeah, 20 exactly. years ago. Exactly, so that's awesome. It's good to see the origins of a project like this. This is a VPI. Be positive. Jungle. Jungle, gotcha. Beautiful, that cleanliness of and that animal. I always have these little patterns that are just really cool. Oh my God. And some jungles are fully striped, some are not. It's that tail coloring. Yeah, you can definitely see the jungle and these yeah. the saddles combine. And Wow, yeah. that thing is gorgeous, man. Then I have some IMG Sangla jungles, too. Oh my god, I gotta see those. So this is a hypo that IMG. That is a hypo IMG jungle. Woo! Man, I tell you what, that IMG stuff is insane, huh? And you think that the hypo gene is doing opposite, again, taking that black out. Yeah. Sometimes some don't look as pretty as others, but this will start to turn dark, really dark. IMG is increasing melons. They get older, they turn blacker, and that red will turn more red and black. It's a very powerful animal to have. That's amazing. What do we have? This is a Sangha Motley Paraglow. Oh, and it's yeah. interesting, it's hooked to the sharp genetic bloodline. Similar to the Candino and oh. Albino, they're all three connected. Okay. So this is kind of connected to the Bow Woman Caramel that makes a sh an animal that looks very similar to the VPI. Yeah, this is amazing. This is, that thing is, I just can't believe this patterning up here is just so cool. Like freckling through, wow. That's Genetics amazing. behind it are cool too because it's yeah. a hypo motley. Right. And whenever you breed a hypo to a motley, it splits on alleles, you produce zero normals. You'll get all hypos and all motleys. Really? So no normals, yeah. I didn't realize that. Well, I don't know, but I tell you what, screw that uh, pied retic. You need to get one of these instead. Okay. I would Jean be all heard. about that. I heard it's on the vlog. Everyone, right. you guys heard it? My right daughter even 
and heard of this be at the Reptarium. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> it's almost like a little Perdita. I mean, you see all the freckles and stuff like that, beautiful, but in a boa, so she's only gonna get this big. This might be good for the massage room. Oh, it would oh, be really yeah. good, and her it sister that's a little would. bit bigger. I think yeah. they give you massages, honestly. I know, seen. right? So they'll even tell you where the pain is at. <laughs> so, that's awesome. That thing is beautiful. So I got this beautiful black snake right here, an Aztec IMG, quite a rare gene. It's a double coat on, and Brian's holding the white. Some people like black, some people like white. I love them all. That's absolutely incredible. I tell you, what, had an absolutely amazing time seeing all these amazing states, Jeremy. Thank you for opening up your place. I mean, let me know down in the comments uh, what you've got going on. And I'm going to put the link to all his stuff, like the reptile ring and boaconstrictor.com and all the social media. Uh, as for now, we're going to wrap up here and we're going to head off to the desert to Moab. Had an absolutely great time over at Jeremy's. We're probably an hour away from Moab, as I would have been calling it Moab. But uh, yeah, Mohab. But uh, no, no Moab. Okay, my mom calls it that. <laughs> exactly, that's okay. But uh, it's crazy the kind of topography change here. We went from mountains to kind of desert absolutely gorgeous out here hopefully tomorrow morning we can get out really want to go snake hunting see if we can find some rattlesnakes hopefully some king snakes I mean who knows really what's going on it's gonna be hot during the day but if we get up early enough we may be able to find something and then at dusk again so regardless we're just gonna have an adventure day hopefully have some successful herping it's gonna be absolutely wonderful But guys, we made it to Moab and unbelievable. We're gonna just end the day kind of looking over. The sun is going down behind us. What an absolutely amazing time. Again, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna try to wake up, see if I can catch some snakes out here. It's gonna be an adventure day. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. But as for now, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves, relax a little bit. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.